All right, gamers, welcome back to another itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Memorial Cafe by Chump at Visual, and it looks like an absolute banger. I'm actually super excited for this game. It's supposed to be like a little visual novel puzzle game with gratuitous amounts of lasers. All right, and finally, I've made it to the final dungeon. Hooray! The Dark Death Unholy Dragon Knight on floor 75 was quite the debacle, but it's all standard fare for a genius wizard such as myself. Alice Allspice Ace Wizard, the picture of perfect- oh god. The perfect picture of grace and poise. <laughs> My brain <laughs> moved the words. Alice. Ah, That was a voice, wasn't it? Where did it come from? Alright, so we got left click melee. Oh, oh, we do lasers. Okay. Uh, the mouse to aim, tab to inventory. How do we move? Is it the wasp key? It is the wasp key. Ah, we have things. Neat. Cold bunny, spicy, pocket sized bundles of warmth. Restores your health. All right. Charge laser beam. I could grab onto these boxes by holding down the interact button. That's a space key, right? Ooh, look at me, I'm so strong. Oh, muy fuerte. Ooh. Very powerful. Let's charge this laser. Oh, it reflects. My power is outstanding. Okay, you can't do that, I guess. See that bulb over there? It's a light switch. Can you try hitting it with your light beam? Hell yeah, I can, dog. Look at that. Mmm. We're scared of the dark, apparently. We have to illuminate our way. Alright, and then we... Walls like this might seem like trouble, but try shooting some light through anyhow. Ah, oh! Oh! Whoa! I like this. This game is dope. I'm so excited. Wong. I'm an absolute chunker master. Look at his little chunker self. Look at that DOS boot. <laughs> Got a little booty. <laughs> Unlike yellow walls, blue light uh, won't let light pass through. Reading is hard for me right now. You'll have to find another way. Charge laser beams. Those corner bits might be helpful. Wow! Wait, did that not work? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's the flavor you can savor. Whoa. Oh, we ain't got enough laser. Eat my laser beam. There we go. I was about to say. Taste my fury. Yay. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Pop pop. <laughs> Oi. Whoa whoa whoa. That's a long one. How does one do such a thing? Let's just leave it alone. We ain't got to go that way for now. Ignore it. Ha <laughs> ha. The solution to all our problems we can't solve yet. I can just punch these things. Punch. Pouch. Whoa, I put crystals over there. So now I can do something. Like bounce the laser off the wall to the crystal to the other crystal. Those pretty crystals are perfect thing for extending your beam. Ah, typo. But still, not that bad. There we go. Ho oh, oh. My beam will be attended. That's... Aha, I think I've got it now. No puzzle is a match for me. Alice Allspice, the grand level 999 puzzle master. Tell him the final boss must be ahead. Onward. You got that right. And so the brave wizard's venture, brave visit, whoa, wizard ventured off into the unknown depths. What is this guy? Alice. His sweet name rested upon an invisible caller's lips, but alas, was cursed to chase them forever onwards. Alice, you moron. Well, that's quite rude. You know what's rude? Daydreaming on the job. Ah, Servo, darling, you were the voice all along. I spent like the f 15 minutes trying to pull you out of that whimsical daydream of yours. That's kind of scary how delusional you can be. 
Oh, but dear Servo, have you ever heard? Oh, had a wish? A wish so strong that it's all you can think about. Yeah, like firing you. You see, one day, I'll be the greatest mind-mending wizard of our generation. I'll be unstoppable and very extremely popular and handsome and, and, phwaa. Oh. So what do you think? Do you take anything seriously? For real, just deliver the coffee to the girl over there because that's what's in the job description. No magic, just focus. Ah, you tin can. Always ruining my fun. Hello, friend. Little dearest, long time no see. Happily, how's the rodent husbandry faring? Better than your face after your little thought unraveling tumble. Way, way. Also, don't call me little. Ever. Thought unraveling is a very tricky business. It requires a certain finesse, a delicacy, one that rat catching does not entail. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Alice, you've crossed the line. What are you going to do? Bite my kneecaps? Caps. <laughs> kneecaps. Jesus. <laughs> Just you wait, Glitterface. For now you live. Make peace with your god while you still can. Wake away. Oh. Laser beam! <laughs> What's up, girl? Hello, madam. I've got your double espresso shot hot and ready. Da -da -da -da. Excuse me? Da 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 da. Uh, for what? <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. I had no my idea my fo I had no idea my foie factor would be so powerful. It's fine. Is that my drink? Yes, it is. Although this is quite a lot of caffeine. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. If only that mender would get here. Well, 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 my job is mind-mending, thought unraveling, and all the whatnot. Really? Hmm. I'm Shia. Now don't mess anything up. Okay, so do you do spells and stuff? Uh, of somewhat. It would be quite unconceivable to, let's say, hocus pocus away just any element. You know, understanding the intricacies of the brain is left best left up to the talent and pen. With my striking observational skills, I will make note of all mysteries. Slurkin. What the word? Ah, sleepyhead. Like this. Absolutely scintillating. What? <laughs> Goodness, that drool isn't exactly what I'd call flattering. Is she falling asleep while we're talking? I can't help it. Have you ever heard of the word superfluous before? Su super superfluous? Superfluous? Before? Many a time. Why? I'm not even going to bother. I've got to get back to studying. What have you got here? Study guides, some mathematical stuff, and oh! Henry Buttons in the Garden of Mystery. Mo no collected fantasy. Isn't that a little more on the fictional side of things? Well, y yes, but that's not important. These are important. Arithmetic, grammar, magical histories, e Eastern literature, grammar too, and mathematical physics in that order. Should I be f remembering this? Math has physics? You have no idea the work I have to do. Exams are tomorrow and I can't fail. No collected exams. Even then, I do think a nap is in your best interest. No! Eep. <laughs> I, I, I'm just really close. I've worked so hard for this. I've given up everything for this. If I don't become valedictorian, I don't know what I'll do. You'll live life the best you can. No collected valedictorian. You seem like a responsible girl. You'll be fine. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I, I could lose my pencil. I could drop my books. I could write my name wrong. I could forget how to read. I could... If you stay up, you are more likely to do all of those things. How dare you oppose a somewhat pers professional's intellect. Eep. 
You're letting yourself fall over the edge of despair when we're really so early into the process. We're merely, merely chrysalises struggling to hatch in the world's nest. What a great despair! Why are you saying these words? Shia! I've got to do fantastical wizard things, but while I do that, you're not allowed to touch any of those books. But... None of that now. You'll muddy the results. I'll be back before you even... Snark. She's asleep again. Da -da 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 -da. It's time for me to shine some light on the situation. Investigation time. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ahem. We ought to start off with what we can see. That poor girl is dropping off mid sentence and all her notes are nonsensical scrib scribbling. It must be because... Look through your notes and select one to use as a response to the above question. Be warned, mess up three times and you're out. How do I look at... It says left stick. Can I use my wasset? Okay. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Oh. Slurkin, the girl, poor girl is so exhausted she can't even fit last through a sentence. How could she possibly get any work done? Henry Button's in the Garden of Mystery. It's book quite popular with the younger audience. She has copy is handled with great care. You have no idea the work I have to do. Exams are tomorrow and I can't fail. Exams are scary. I would know she must tackle this, but she is so unsure. I've given up everything for this. If I don't become valedictorian, I don't know what I'll do. She holds this goal above everything, even her own health. Alright, space key. Respond by selecting a card with the A button. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? It seems that I am absolutely not exactly quite on it. Let's give another look up. Where was the question at? We ought to start off with what we can see. That girl? Oh. Oh, okay, I got you. This, because of this. Seems like I am absolutely... Oh, okay, wait a second. Alright, let's go to the one where she... Sleepyhead. Sure. Wait, I already clicked this one, didn't I? Um... Hmm. I think I've got it! That's right. She's terribly sleepy. But she only put up with all that guff if there was more... Something she truly needed. What is the thing she wants more than anything else? What does she want to be? So basically we click the thing that's exactly... She wants to be valedictorian. God dang it. This better be right. Yes! Absolutely! Yeah, you gotta pick the obvious answer. Almost there is something in her way. Something she has to do. Study? It's something she has to do. It's gotta be exams. I I've done it! Ah, absolutely scintillating. Scint scintillating. That's such a weird word. Ah, well, that was actually quite a bit easier than I originally speculated. We almost failed, bro. Sha! I have solved all of your problems. That's... That's not how this works. You need to stop thinking! I think you've got me covered in that field. You're focusing so hard on becoming valedictorian that you worked yourself into a nervous wreck. Your brain has become wicked welt of wolfish worry. The premonition of failure is enough to make you lose sleep. It's an absolutely anxious insomnia that you've got there. Is that all? I mean, yes. I see. I suppose you're unimpressed? I... Guess I was. It doesn't matter. What's next? Next is all the mender business. Don't you worry your... This is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous or not, it's time to get to work. Ha! Here we go. What's this thing? It's a flower. Pick it up. This is all the stuff we read before. Scrolling is hard. I don't know what to do with that flower. I guess I'll leave it. 
Okay. Can't pick up these flowers for whatever reason. Space key. You really think you're better than us, don't you? No. No one said that. Ah, it's a cloud of smoke. Ah, this smog is troublesome. I can't go through and neither can my light. I'll have to find a way around it. Like this. Genius. What's up, flower thing? Aha! Oh shoot, I fell in that hole. My health! No! I've taken damage. My perfect run has been foiled. Alright. Haha! Ho 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 ho. Have no fear, the light man is here. Yes. Yes! Ah, those f flowers are scary looking. Never mind that, I'll just have to swat them away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, get out of here, Doc. Oh, ho, 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 my power's overwhelming. Got anything to say, bro? I think so. Don't make me come back through here again. What does this say? I can't do anything here. I'm so confused. I guess we did what we were supposed to do. Oh god, the shift key makes you sprint though. That's kind of neat. Haha, we solved it. I keep losing my health to falls. That's not good. What in the world? Oh, I need to move this. Haha! Look at me, I'm so strong. Look at me. So powerful. So mighty. So chunkalicious. Yeah. Yay. Look at that hand. Look at those fingernails. The horror. Okay. What if I double power my laser beam? Can I do that? Is that possible? Let us see. Ho ho ho! I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but. Oh, it almost did. If I move it a little bit closer. Ho ho ho, don't push it off the edge, little chunker. I need to angle it a little bit better. Oh, frustration station. Yes! Great success! Hooray! It is I, Chunker. Yay! I don't know why it gives me so many crystals to look through. So many choices! Yes, we have illuminated our path! Great success! Shift key to run! Oh, look at his little legs! Oh ho ho! Ho oh, ho ho, I like that! <laughs> that brings me great joy. Ho oh, ho, that looks dangerous, so we're not gonna go up there. How do I open the door? I guess we can go this way. Who? Oh, it's running at me! Okay, I was about to say, get away from me! Ada and Adam, Volume 6. When Ada woke, she was wearing a beautiful silk dress, and her hair was up in ribbons. A plate of tea and biscuits has been set in her, at her lavish bedside. She went to the mirror to tell Adam her wish had come true. All she saw was a sea of snow and ice through fractured glass. The end. Huh. Is there one story pro row? Oh, my bad. Get off it! Oh, no, I just wasn't close enough. Wait a second. 
Oh, I read it in the wrong order. God dang it. Okay, let's start from one. Oh, this is volume five as well. Wait. I don't want volume five. I want volume one. Get off volume five! Lord. The Golden Beetle Volume 1. Once upon a time, there was a beetle, but not just any beetle, a showy beetle. The showy beetle wanted to be draped in jewels, silks, and all sorts of shiny things. Why won't it deselect? How do I make it deselect? Get off it. That's annoying! Get your little chunky legs off the space key thing so I can read the rest of the volumes, dude. The Golden Beetle Volume 2. All the other beetles thought that the showy beetle was so silly. Sh shouldn't you focus on eating grubs like the rest of us, they ask? The showy beetle would have none of it. I must show everyone how beautiful, he said. I am, he said. Reading, it's not for me. It's hard. Get off the book over there, dude. Ugh. I don't want to read volume 2, I want to read volume 1! I'm just gonna leave the room and come back. I can't even sprint in this room. Frustration. The Golden Beetle Volume 3. While all the other beetles collected grubs and leaves, the showy beetle hunted down all the prettiest jewels he could find. One day, he found a jewelry box filled with shiny golden bracelets. I have to show this to everybody, the showy beetle laughed. Now we must leave the room again so we can read another volume. Ho ho ho. Yeah, I don't know how to make it deselect when you get close enough to a book to read it, so. The Golden Beetle Volume 4. The Shirley Beetle organized a beauty show. Maybe if I hit tab. He invited everyone in the garden to come and see him draped in the new treasure he'd found. Really, everyone found it quite silly. Well, that's mean. My tab key doesn't even work in here. None of my keys work in here. I can't melee. I can't tab. I can't get off the freaking books. <laughs> God. The Golden Beetle. I do like these stories though, so I want to read them. The Golden Beetle Volume 5. When everyone finally arrived, the showy beetle climbed to the tippy top of the spout of the watering can. He wanted everyone to see him. The showy beetle was covered in flashy golden charms and bangles. Behold my beauty, the shiny be the showy beetle shouted proudly. Eh, he's gonna fall into the water spout, I believe, and die. And it's gonna be real sad because he has all his treasure on. Is it a crime to be fabulous? The Golden Beetle Volume 6. The showy beetle was so bright and shining, he caught the eye of a mischievous raven flying above. No! The raven swooped down and plucked the shine showy beetle right off the water and can sprout. Like it was nothing and flew off into the blue sky with his new delicious snack. The end. Aw. Poor shiny beetle. That's sad. Alright, we gotta make sure we don't get close enough that it starts reading Volume 6. Aha! Ada and Adam, Volume 1. Once upon a time, there was a lonely little girl named Ada, who had nothing but a pocket mirror in her Christian name. She would huddle by makeshift fire and peer into the depths of her tiny mirror. Alright. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just don't know how to make it not select things. Ada and Adam, Volume 2. Inside the mirror was another face, a face that was kind and warm and loving. Ada named the face Adam, and she talked to him every night. Ah, it's herself, and she's a ding-dong. <laughs> she named her reflection Adam. Ada and Adam, Volume 3. One winter night, Ada was lonelier than ever. The snow was coming down in droves, and her little hands were slowly turning blue. But at least Adam was there, watching her with a concerned face to the mirror. Oh my god, she's gonna watch herself to freeze to death. Lord. Ada, what are you doing? <laughs> Ada and Adam, Volume 4. Ada, Adam said. Ada, why don't we switch places? Over here, I hear winter... I wear big winter coats and eat cake every day. I have lots of toys for you to play with, too. Oh, Adam's a real person. Adam's trying to do some trickster doppelganger stuff. Bad Adam. Bad. Oh, it's deselected. Ada and Adam, Volume 5. Ada, freezing 
cold and sleepy, pressed the mirror to her pale face. The snow was blanketing her in thick white sheets. She closed her eyes and wished with all her heart for a warm cup of cocoa. I can make cocoa, he said. I am the cocoa master. All right. We already read volume six, but Adam, Ada and Adam, volume six. When Ada woke, she was wearing a beautiful silk dress and her hair was up in ribbons. A plate of tea and biscuit had been placed at, set at her lavish bedside. She went to the mirror to tell Adam her wish had come true. All she saw was a sea of snow and ice through fractured glass. Aw, he swapped her. What a good guy! I am so sorry for doubting you, Adam. You <laughs> were a true MVP. Naughty Tito, Volume 1. Tito was a naughty boy. He cheated, he lied, and worst of all, he stole sweets from Mum's drawer. Tito is so naughty. He must be part monster. That's what everyone said. Ho oh, ho ho. Bad Tito. Naughty Tito, Volume 2. Mom told Tito to stop stealing her sweets, but Tito was having too much fun to listen. All the cocoa pu choco puffs and toffee were too good to pass up, so Mom came up with the fantastic plan. Ho ho! She murdered the Tito. That's not good. <laughs> Naughty Tito Volume 3. Mom went down to Cobweb Street with a blackberry pie for the Cobweb Witch. The Cobweb Witch loves blackberry pie, of course. My Tito is so naughty, he must be part monster, Mom sighed. The witch had a horrible grin. I just wish I didn't have to leave the room every time. Oh, it deselected. It's a miracle. Naughty Tito, Volume 4. Put this in your drawer, the witch said, handing Mom a candy. And if your Tito is as you say, he'll learn his lesson right quick. So Mom put the mysterious candy in her drawer and went to sleep. Maybe if I move off it and hit the space key, I'll get rid of it. Oh, it's genius. Naughty Tito, Volume 5. Naughty Tito snuck in at midnight. He had t a big, terrible grin on his face as he opened up Mom's sweet drawer. Inside was a beautiful silk, silver wrapped candy. Naughty Tito gobbled it all up. Naughty Tito, Volume 6. As soon as the candy met his tongue, Na Tito began to feel strange. Give me one moment. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. That's a lot of reading. Tito began to feel strange. He ran rushed to the mirror to discover he had really turned into a disgusting monster. Tito is so naughty. It must be because he is a monster. The end. God dang it, Tito. Look what you did. Leaf's Bad Luck Volume 1. Leaf had terrible bad luck. He was ready to go to the library, but somehow missed a bus. Here we go again, he sighed. Leaf's Bad Luck Volume 2. Leaf tried following the map down to downtown. He discovered he'd been holding it upside down, and now he w really was lost. That's how it always is, he grumbled. Leaf's Bad Luck, Volume 3. Leaf was so lost, he somehow made it to the depths of the great forest. Behind him, he heard growling. Of c c c course he yelped, running away as fast as he could. <laughs> oh god. Leaf's Bad Luck, Volume 4. Leaf was running so fast, he didn't even notice the log until he had tripped over it. He went careening off the, over the off the cliffside into the ocean below. Blub, 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 Leaf bubbled as he sunk into the blue. Leaf's Bad Luck, Volume 5. Everything was fading. Leaf was finally at his end. I guess that's how his blubbled, blubbing was cut short by an ear-splitting alarm. Leaf's Bad Luck, Volume 6. Leaf awoke, safe in his bed. He was dreaming the whole time. Whew! I guess this is good luck after all, he cheered. But when he saw his alarm clock, he realized he was late for work. The end. <laughs> well, it puts it in perspective. The Lovely Canary, Volume 1. In the heavens, there was a law that said no deity could fall in love with a human. Still, a lovely deity flew... I'm going to turn up this music so you guys can hear it a little bit better. It's really good. A lovely deity flew down from the heavens to join a young musician in his songs. I can only sing with you, he said. The Lovely Canary, Volume 2. The Jade Emperor saw this and became angry, saying that the lovely deity had broken heaven's law. She now had to pay the price. The lovely deity cried all night, but then she had an idea. Jade Emperor, she pleaded. I have served you your court for so long. Allow me to have my word. The Lovely Canary, Volume 3. The Jade Emperor sighed. 
You have served us well, I suppose. I will curse you as a beast of the land, so I will let you choose your form. The lovely deity bowed. I would like to become a tiny canary, please. The lovely canary, volume 4. To be something so weak and small, but it is as you wish. The Jade Emperor turned her into a little bird and exiled her from the heavens. She flew all the way to the young musician and happily sang the song they'd shared all these years. They could finally sing in peace. I like that story. The end. I like these stories are nice. How to Write Fiction, Volume 1. The key to writing down fiction is opening your heart up. What do you want to see in the world? What would look beautiful? The fiction in the world is as you see it. The world is as you wish it to be. How to Write Fiction, fiction Volume 2. Mom and Dad can't tell you what to do. They always ruin your fun anyway. To think, I think it would be nice if the storybooks were real. How to Write Fiction Volume 3 But the problem is that it isn't real, of course. It's all made up things from your head. So you have to go back to the real world eventually. It's scary. How to Write Fiction Volume 4 Everything you want isn't real. Everything that's happy you can't have. That's not the end. Princess Scrub Scrub <laughs> Volume 1 There once was a beautiful girl called Scrub Scrub because she really liked to scrub, seriously. She had an evil stepmother, of course, and she was forced to scrub the house spotless as punishment for the littlest things. It was a dream come true. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, if, if there's stories on the back, I don't know if I'll read them all, <laughs> even though I do like these stories. Princess Scrub Scrub Volume 2. The winter ball came around and the evil stepsisters forced Scrub Scrub to scrub the entire house again. Scrub Scrub loved the idea. While everyone was out dancing, Scrub Scrub was happily scrubbing away in the comfort of her home. I like this story. This is optimistic. Princess Scrub Scrub Volume 3 The princess was running late. When riding his horse to the ball, he saw Scrub Scrub furiously scrubbing the garden fence. He immediately fell in love with her beauty right then and there, and he proposed. Princess Scrub Scrub Volume 4 Sorry, replied Scrub Scrub, swatting away the bubbles. I've got so much work to do. The prince thought fast. If you marry me, you can live in a great giant castle with a hundred closets and a thousand cupboards. And she was like, oh yeah, baby! Princess Scrub Scrub Volume 5. Scrub Scrub fell in love with the idea of cleaning an entire castle. In that moment, she fell in love and they got married the very next day. Scrub Scrub's first order as princess was to fire the entire cleaning staff as she wanted to take care of those things herself. The end. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, isn't this a thorny situation? Shame, it seems there's something in the back there, but it'll, I'll need something sharp if I'm to get, at, to get at it. I'll read that in a second. Robo Choco Volume 1 Robo Choco was a robot made by a lonely scientist. The lonely scientist, you can be my beautiful wife and love me forever, right? Beep boop. Robo Choco replied. Robo Choco Volume 2. Robo Choco was very good at housework, but not very good at cooking. She burnt everything she made. Still, the lonely scientist made a point of cleaning his plate. It's all for love, he said. He's choking a bit. <laughs> Robo Choco Volume 3. Robo Choco and the scientist spent all every day together. The scientist made sure every nut and bolt was in place and always had a can of oil on hand. He looked incredibly happy. He didn't have to be alone anymore. Robo Choco Volume 4. Everyone in town thought that the lonely scientist was very strange. He devoted his entire life to a robot who could not say anything but beep and boop. Farmer Jan decided to ask the lonely scientist about it. Robo Choco Volume 5 Mr. Scientist, Farmer Jan asked, why don't you get a real wife? Don't you know that robots can't love? To that, the lonely scientist just smiled. Robo Choco Volume 6 Farmer Jan got angry. Are you making fun of me? Oh, it's a he. <laughs> he growled. The lonely scientist just laughed. Robots can love, you see. The scientist carefully unscrewed his head and held it out like a birthday present. I would know, because I'm a robot too. The end. Oh, that's so sweet. I like that. I need a, I need a knife so I can read this volume. Give me a knife. Where's the knife at, tree? How dare you not give me a knife? 
So I gotta go find a knife. I need to know what the last volume is. I like those stories though. I love stories. Where's the knife at? Give me a knife. Can I go through here? No, that killed me. Oh, I can't. There's fire everywhere. Whoa, what are you doing in here, girl? Can't you tell this is dangerous? Shia, what are you doing here? Studying for my test, but I can't concentrate. Perhaps it's the very intense opposing fire. I need a book. I can focus when I have the book. I need it. Not a glass of water or anything, or... My favorite book. What kind of book? My favorite one. I have a feeling I'm getting nowhere like this. So peculiar. Do you have a knife so I can get it out of the vines? All those books were good, though. I enjoyed every single one of those books. I need a knife, though, and I don't know how to get to it. Is there a knife in here? Hmm. It doesn't seem like I can get past this fire anywhere. Unless maybe I can go... No, I can't. Does that hurt me? Oh, I can go through the fire. Okay. I was afraid of the fire for nothing. The fire is figurative. This is a figurative fire. Not a real fire, my friends. Do not worry. But is there a knife in here, though? Do you have a knife? I think perhaps you ought to try studying somewhere else. I can't go until I have my get my favorite book. But don't you see a problem? This is fine. Ugh. Items. I got cold bunnies. But I need... Uh... Oh, the door opened. Thank goodness. Yay. Come with me, Crystal. We have work to be do. Oh, wait. There's another crystal. Haha. <laughs> oh. We need double crystal power here, baby. Yes. Great success. That does not look like I can cross it yet. Okay, I was about to say, did I miss? Because I don't want to die. Give me these. You picked up a pair of rusty clippers. Aha! Great success. Now we can get the favorite book. Give me the favorite book so I can read it myself. Al whipped out the rusty clippers with devilish flair. Snip snip. Henry Buttons in the Garden of Mystery. That, it's called... What lovely tree it's got on the front. Alice picked up Shia's favorite book. Ooh! That's an enemy! Ooh! Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Alright, y'all. Get out of here. Go on now. Yeah! I need to read the book. I will read the book. You will not stop me. I will save all the books, because they are good books. Finds are cut with expert precision. I want to read the book before I give it to her. Can I do that? Let's go check on the tree. I don't want them killing the tree either. The tree seems real nice. Okay, the tree's fine. Good job, us. Notes. Where's the book at? Items. Title, Henry Buttons in the Garden of Mystery. There's this love... I can't even read it! All those books I read and I can't read this one. And it's her favorite. Blasphemy. What's up, fam? I've got just what you need, and let me tell you, it was no small task. It's here, the problem. This? But this is your favorite book, isn't it? My favorite in the whole world. What in good graces have you done? Oh, it's a book of fire. Oh, don't burn the book! What in the world? What in good graces have you done? I fixed the problem, finally. I was so selfish. But now I can study. You really don't. Shia, you didn't have to. Why did you kill the book? I didn't even get to read it! <laughs> 
It's completely destroyed. Ah. Why? Why would you do that? It's completely destroyed, Shia! I guess we just leave. What, 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 what am I supposed to do? She's toxic. Does she burn all the books? Oh, hell. <laughs> My laser beam wasn't killing. All the books are gone, Shia. What have you done? Is the tree dead? Did you kill the tree that I worked so hard to protect? You ding dong. How could you? That was such a pretty tree. Aww. She, uh. She, uh. And the hidden treasure is. S some paper? How anticlimactic. Once upon a time, there was a selfish girl. Her parents, the king and queen, wanted her to rule the kingdom, but the selfish girl didn't want that. She only wanted to grow flowers. One day, a terrible plague struck the land. I'm going to take note of this. It's all so confusing, really. But it's nothing that a bit of wit can't fix. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, who turned off the lights? Is somebody there? Uh, ah, why, hello, boys. You don't have to look so feisty, you know. Please don't touch the hair! I really must be dead now. God, can you hear me? Please tell teacher I'm sorry. Please don't let her look under my bed. Is this something I need to be concerned about? S Servo is here too. And I thought I'd made it to the pearly gates. I'll send you there if you don't wake up right now. Seems as if I've made it after... Enough of that talk. I should have let, never let you play around like that. What was I thinking? I've always read. Sure, you've read everything, but you haven't done any of it yet. You're lucky that door spit you out as it did, or I'll, otherwise I'd... I'd... Servo. Don't give me that look. I see I was reckless, but I found something, and I can't just let it be. That... The thing I was attacked by. There's something else going on. Can't you see, Servo? I've got to go back. Shia sure, can't just sit and suffer. Teacher is going to be real mad about all this. You're going too far. So, can I? You're probably going to complain until you get what you want anyways. I don't care anymore. Go ahead and be eaten by a brain monster. I don't know. Oh, darling. Dearest Servo, you really are the sweetest, most wonderful mess of nuts and bolts I know. Ah, but I've got no time to waste. Now, Sha, I've got a few things to ask. Is that the end? Ah, oh, I love this game. It was so good. I wish there was a little bit more closure to the end, but I loved it. That was really good. This might actually be the best Sitch I.O. game I've ever played. I've played some good ones, and this one is really good. I incredibly enjoyed this. Thank you for playing. Memorial Cafe, lead programmer Randall Hines, character artist Ava B. Byers, B. I don't know how to pronounce, I apologize, 2D character animator Nicola Spiritu, background artist Malika LeJC, and Isabel Garcia, music by Gubbles. The music was really good. I apologize again if I mispronounced your names, but I really enjoyed this game. Really good job. I loved all the stories. This was so good for a short game. I really wish there was a little bit more closure at the end, but I did love it. That was so good. All right, guys, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. I'll leave a link to the game in the description as always. Bye. And if you enjoyed the game, I'd recommend like going to the page and like rating their game, like whatever you think it's worth. I'm going to give it five stars because I loved it, but um, you might see it other ways, but yeah. Bye!